Hi, if you're new to watercolors, obviously the first question you're going to have is what kind of watercolor paint to choose. In today's episode, we're going to be look at, looking at two different types of watercolor paint. One is a budget watercolor paint and one is a middle of the road um, artist quality watercolor paint to show you whether or not you can start with a cheaper brand of watercolor paint or if you need to upscale it and spend a little bit more money. In particular, today I'm going to be looking at these two different kinds of watercolor paint to start you off. The middle of the road artist quality watercolor paint that I use for absolutely everything is this Winsor & Newton travel size pack. It was £12.40 in the UK. I'm going to put links in the description below to these paints as well. Um, and we're going to try this versing this Staedtler. Kind of looks like a kid's pack on the outside. The cheapest one I could actually find was this one, which is actually still £6. I know you can go to a cheap shop and get them for a couple of pounds, but I thought, well, let's be sensible with it. You're probably happy to spend a, a little bit of money. Um, but this was the cheapest one I could find at the time. So we're going to do a little bit of a comparison between these two watercolour paints. Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bit dinkier than that. All right, so they've moved around a little bit in transit. Um, these are just little pans of watercolour. I can see kind of almost instantly that they're a little bit chalky. Um, they look a little bit chalky. This has got a little um, white opaque, maybe. I'll have a look at that. Um, so yeah, that's that pan kit. The thing you're gonna notice, first of all, instantly, you're gonna see the difference because, oh, <laughs> there's a big size difference. These are all individually wrapped. You've got a little travel paintbrush as well. Um, which kind of is good, it protects the um, the bristles. And you have a three mixing pans as well. So that's the comparison when you open up the palette box. Just one tip, if you do get these pans, it's good to kind of note what color they are because once you lose these um, pieces of paper, you can't actually remember what that color is. So it's probably just best to, um, write them down somewhere because nothing else comes with a bit of information about what color they are. I think my first impressions and the things that you'll notice the most is the similarities is they're both pans, they're both in this plastic. The 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 plastic is quite solid. There's there's not much to it. There's not a lot of difference. Um, these definitely, these round ones definitely feel more chalky, um, but the Windsor and Newton pans also feel quite chalky. They're just smaller. Um, there are three mixing bowls in the cheaper um, Statler pack and there are three mixing sections in the Winsor & Newton. So at the moment they're, they're actually really similar. You're going to get just as much watercolour out of both of them even though there is a big size difference. So I'm just going to start with the wet on wet technique. I've put a bit of water on the paper and I'm applying the Winsor & Newton, um, both of their blues that come in the pack. And straight away you can see that the first blue I chose is really vibrant. It's got a great stretch and the second blue is really contrasting. There's a lovely red that can be pinkish and also an orange that has a lot of stretch to it as well so it can go lighter or darker. The great thing about this Winsor & Newton pack is that it also has two different yellows. There's an orangey kind of yellow as well as this really bright, um, almost fluorescent yellow that is uh, really helpful when color mixing. I'm not color mixing any of these palettes today but I thought I would just mention that. Uh, the two greens in the Winsor & Newton package um, packet are pretty standard. Um, there's a really helpful kind of uh, reddish brown, there's a darker brown and an ochre of the standard colors you'd expect. It does not have a black in the packet but it does have this white. I think the great thing about this packet is um, when you are applying the paints they don't actually take a lot to activate and um, they're easy to control. 
So moving on to the Stateler packet, I'm going to try to do exactly what I just did for the Windsor and Newton. Excuse me if I vary anything accidentally. Uh, using a bit of a different watercolour can actually feel a little bit different. So they've got two blues in this packet as well. Um, the first blue is, was actually surprisingly bright and vibrant. I uh, quite enjoyed that and the contrast between the blues are also really solid as well. Going straight into the orange and the orange um, doesn't have a lot of uh, growth or um, you can't really pull it too far but it's really nice that it's there and there's kind of two oranges in the packet so you could probably make something of that. There's not a darker brown so just off camera there I mixed a bit of their black with their lighter brown to just make a comparison to how you would have a darker brown. Um, they do have a really nice green in the packet here and um, I was able to mix up the, the darker green with the blue to make the teal colour that I made with the Windsor and Newton. Application of the paint, um, the Statler paint does go on a little bit slower. It doesn't have as much movement to it and it sets to the paper quicker so you don't get as much flow. And here's the close-up. I'm actually really quite happy with the close-up of both paints. You can see that the colours I think are really comparable. Uh, at a beginner's level, I really wouldn't be unhappy with that kind of level of colour. Just want to um, highlight to you some of the colours that are meant to be the same in both of the packets. So I'm just doing a little swatch for you to show you the colours that are the same along the top and then any extra colours in each packet I'll put down the bottom. Um, the colours were really, really similar. I think, you know, considering the Statler is half price, I didn't feel that it wasn't a value pack. I definitely, as a new artist, I would probably say that I would still buy the Windsor and Newton because you're going to be able to push it and pull it and develop and grow with it. But if you're really concerned that watercolor is not for you and you're just not 100% sure, then the Statler is going to give you a good taste of whether or not this is something you want to pursue. Um, I don't think you will have wasted your money if you buy the Statler. But again, I don't think you'll waste your money if you buy the Windsor and Newton and continue on with watercolor. There's not, um, I mean, it is double the price. I just wanted to show you as well that the paints um, are really similar in color but when I go in for the close-up here you're going to really notice that the Statler paints definitely aren't as vibrant. So here's the Windsor and Newton you can see there's a nice edge to them a little bit of depth and with the Statler ones here you can see that they're just a little bit more one-dimensional especially in the color comparisons. Having a look at the paintbrush that comes free with the travel pack for the Windsor and Newton, I find these paintbrushes really helpful. However, if I'm traveling, to be honest, I really already have a um, paintbrush that carries its own water. Um, one thing I did want to mention here with this travel pack is if you're using it for the first time, you can see here um, it's a little bit grainy and that's just some kind of sealant that they put on top of the watercolor. So I just um, wet that and got rid of that sealant and started again because you don't want to put that on your page. The great thing about this free paintbrush is you can actually do something a little bit more detailed. Uh, so I'm going for a hot air balloon just to show you as well that the quality of the paintbrush actually does reach the quality of the paints as well. Moving on to the Statler paintbrush, it's a number four. It's got really loose brish bristles. I, I, I have to say that if you are saving money on the Statler, um, paint set you absolutely just have to buy new paint brushes because this paintbrush is going to make you really discouraged. I think maybe check out my video about your essential paint brushes. You absolutely just have to invest in paint brushes and I think if anything this episode has just brought out the fact that the colors are really similar but the paint brushes are going to really impact what you present and what you make. The, both packs came with a white and the white did what the white does. Um, both of them were acceptable. I have to say that the white on the Windsor and Newton definitely dried with, mm, with more depth. The white on the Statler, it dried a lot more chalky. 
but that's also what I expected from the whole set really there's not as much depth to that set but having looked at um, the paintbrushes, again, I'll say I don't really recommend either of these two paintbrushes, but if I had to choose the Winsor & Newton one, except that you really would be forever putting on your wash in the background, go check out my other video on paintbrushes. So just having a look at both paintings, I think you can see that I'm really actually super surprised. They're so similar. You do not have to spend an absolute fortune on watercolors or watercolor paint because Really, it's about the skill and the techniques that you're going to be using more than the product you have. I will, however, say that you really need to have a nice quality, good, reliable paintbrush to continue on with your watercolour. If you have enjoyed this comparison, then do please click the like button. Also, if you want to see me compare other things, I was thinking maybe of doing a comparison between watercolors, so like a cheap watercolor paper and a more middle of the road watercolor paper, then leave me a comment below and let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. Thank you so much for watching and for spending your time with me today. Thanks. Bye.